Hey guys! Hello! We're Robin Pimsy, and welcome back to Xenoblade 3. So, Soup. as of yesterday, we were able to watch the Nintendo Direct that yeah. happened. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> you were saying that the reason that it couldn't be put onto telly, on telly, was because um, <laughs> of the name of the, the, uh, the game that I will not mention now in case people haven't seen it. Well, I'm going to just say it. So oh, apparently, okay? <laughs> the reason why the Nintendo Direct was not live streamed it's because in the it's UK insensitive. was because of the Zelda game, which is the sequel to Breath of the Wild, <laughs> is called Tears of the Kingdom, which is very topical considering <laughs> that uh, the Queen because recently died. Because we're all every single our crying over our lady body passing away. It's a very on the nose name for something that just happened. So, yeah, but it, at least it still got, you know, shown and announced, like, <laughs> it would have been Ooh, a kind of a bad thing birdie. if it was announced and shown in all the other regions apart from the UK, and then, you know, obviously they're going to say, well, oh, obviously cool. we know what the name of the game is, oh, because fuck. they told us run away, run away, in the American away. and, you know, other directs, so the UK audience needs to know as well. So. That is most likely why it was not live streamed. Uh, it was Ooh. available at uh, 4 p.m. as a just a, a video to watch, so we couldn't do a, a reaction stream to it to eat either. Um, but in terms of the games that were announced, so uh, let's see. I'm trying to find a chronological How order for this because count? it's very easy to lose track of what happened and when. Uh, and let's have there? a look, see, what's the best Ooh, way? Ooh, there's a rare Ooh, Nintendo thing Direct there. directly from Nintendo. That'll, that'll probably be close what's enough. What's the rare thing? So, oh, you're spicy. Oh, they've, they've done the same thing. They've gone with the big announcements first and not the chronological order. Which is not what I wanted. Let's see, Nintendo Life, do you have it in chronological order? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright, so... Uh... Nintendo Direct for September 2022. First thing announced was Fire Emblem Engage. So this had actually already been leaked uh, prior to this. But there were a few doubts about the, the legitimacy of the leaks, mainly because the Lord character of Fire Emblem Engage has very distinctive blue and red hair which has led to them being nicknamed Toothpaste or <laughs> Colgate Chan. So people were like, well, ah, in, in the leaks, because it was like blurry screenshots and so on, people were saying, well, this probably isn't a Fire Emblem game. It's probably, you know, a mobile or, you know, some other RPG related game for Nintendo. But it turns out that it is indeed a real Fire Emblem game. So, Fire Emblem Engage seems to be a focus on original characters, obviously the Lord with red and blue hair, but also using previous Fire Emblem Lords as, like, heroes or stands or, you know, partners to pair up with in battle. Uh, and the most prominent one was Marth, because obviously Marth is the Lord character, the first one, but there are some other ones that people spotted uh, in the emblem ring portion of the trailer as Sigurd. Now Sigurd is the Oh, Lord... is that how you say it? I said Sigurd. Uh, as for S-I-G-U-R-D. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would say it's Sigurd. Um, yeah, but... I didn't I didn't know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I thought it was... So no. the thing is, is that Sigurd is the Lord of the fourth Fire Emblem game. So Fire Emblem 4... Uh, I forget if it's called Genealogy of the Holy War, but I, I think that's the title of it. But essentially, that game never came out in the UK, or indeed America, so oh. it never had a an official English translation. But the fact that they've highlighted Sigurd there has led people to believe that there is actually going to be a Fire Emblem 4 remake announced at some point down the line. But Fire <laughs> Emblem Engage is going to be out in January 2023. Uh, some people have been saying that they don't really like the the style of it and they say, well, you know, we've already got Fire Emblem Heroes on the mobile phone and that's where you get all the previous Lord characters and so on. We kind of wanted an original game, but I thought it looked okay. Like, it looked like a traditional Fire Emblem 
um, game mixed with kind of the monastery <laughs> stuff from Three Houses. Maybe not as much, but you know, still, I'll probably play it. Uh, looking forward to it as well. And yes, they've confirmed that there are male and female versions of the Lord. So it's kind of like a Byleth situation where they, you know, choose which character you want. Uh, remains to be seen whether they'll have their own personality kind of stuff. Um, I know Three Hopes, the Fire Emblem Warriors game, has gone into that a bit more with Violet, but I guess we'll see. Also, where are you going? Oh, I, I've been getting confused because I've I thought you were going to go and do the hero quest. No, because that is. Um, uh, I think it's unobtainable. Why is it unobtainable? Because I think I've tried to get it in the past and not been able to. The hero quest. Um, yeah, I think so. Well, if you go to the Hero Quest description, surely it'll tell you, right? Does it uh, not have a unique marker on the map? There, there, it, there is. it is. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I think it's in the middle of stuff that I can't get to anymore. Right. Okay, you can't skip travel there. Uh. Yeah, you can't skip travel there. Okay, that's fine. That, that makes sense. I can travel there, but I don't know if I can go You don't know if you can get to there. the thing. It so, might be um, the hero quest actually unlocks that region past where the marker is, but... Oh, possibly. Um, I, I don't know. Because there's also question marks and stuff, but yeah. I can't... Oh, I can. Yeah, you can fast travel to the one on the right. No, but so... I think I've tried to get to some of these before and not been able to. Right, okay. Anyway, I just wanted to do this one whilst I'm here. Um, okay. Because I know these are just mini, mini missions, but... Sure. You know, okay. Still, still. Uh, next game, as part of the Nintendo Direct, was It Takes Two. So, that was already out on PlayStation and Xbox, but they are now doing a Switch version. Just, uh, oh, fuck off, I can't kill that thing. No, of course not. That's the mission? That's the side quest mission. Did I can't you, kill did, that you, thing. did you even look at the quest level? No. No, maybe you should. Look at that, a, level 29. Uh, uh, those are all yeah. level 29 apart from the hero quest, which is Jeremy's level 22. Jeremy's is the one that I'm doing right now. Yeah, you're under level for it. You can do the hero no, quest. No, I can do you... this one. Yeah, you can do that one, but that wasn't the one you're looking for. Okay, so which one's... Bam Bam, Bam I think, is... Do you want me to do the hero quest, or do you want me to... Because this well, is Bam Bam. Well, I thought Bam. that's what you were going for. Get off. Yeah, you press and hold Y to remove the marker. I know. Um, I think so, this might be a DLC one, because I don't think it was there before. Well, uh, skipping ahead a little bit, there was an extra announcement in the expansion <laughs> pass for <laughs> Xenoblade 3. So there will be a new hero, which we uh, think will be like Poppy. Mm. But we don't know exactly yet. But there'll be more clothes, there's more challenge battles to do. So, yes, there is more to come Whoa. for Xenoblade 3. Okay, I was not expecting a dish. So, not long ago, a spot placed with red smoky fumes was a container with many sparkling things to get grubby wings on. What lucky pond! Such container usually crowded by Kevis or Agnes soldiers. Supply drops! Well, we've, we've already done a few supply drops anyway. Yeah, but I am going to quickly... Oh, oh more. another one! I recently go to sell food to Agnes soldiers, but there are many more from before. Uh, so many that run out of product to sell. He thinks they need large numbers, large numbers, because they're looking for someone. On high alert. Fair enough. I wasn't expecting stuff here. I just walked here because it was the closest one. Mm -hmm. Makes me Let's think maybe I should break, start guys. about the other things, but it'd be really difficult to kind of. Yeah, get I think you can probably do the wandering around stuff uh, when you want to play on your own time. Because I don't have enough. I still haven't bloody done Elden Ring that on this. Yeah, I know, and you got it on your Switch specifically so that you could. Do the whole wandering I just don't have enough time. time, I really don't. Yeah, I know. So. My business. So yeah, I was, I was going to suggest that affinity building stuff, uh, fighting monsters stuff, if it's quests that, that say just go here and kill monsters and come back, you can probably do that uh, in your own time. Um, but yeah. So It Takes Two was the next one announced. Uh, then went to Fatal Frame, or as it's known in the UK, Project Zero. So that is obviously the latest Oh, in right, there. that's why. What's so up? basically they're saying that once you've been released from the flame clock, you mm -hmm. can't ask for supplies anymore, which is why there's a problem with getting ah, supplies. Ah, I see. So that makes sense. They're from castles on yeah. even friendlies. So obviously if you're not attached to the flame clock, there's no need to supply 
support you anymore. Hmm. Even if they did file a request, nobody has a duty to honour it. Wherever we see supplies being dropped, there must be colony or troops we haven't freed yet. There's a good chance we'd encounter enemies in those areas. So we have to remain vigilant. Well, they've got stuff we need as well. Let's get our hands on them. We should, even with all the enemies. Okay, fair enough. So they weren't missions? No, they're just like extra XP <gasps> discussion up. things. Oh, hang on, I didn't bloody... We could do with some mm -hmm. food. <clears throat> uh, so yes. Oh, actually, so following Fatal Frame, which is, Love you know, it. it's the horror arcade style game where you go around <clears throat> and <throat> photographing ghosts and everything. Uh, Xenoblade 3's expansion pass. The next character is Eno, who is a mechanical companion right, that you can going. recruit so when I'm Wave waiting. 2 launches on the 13th of October. Eno will be a defender hero with a class <gasps> Noponic Champion. She'll have what looks like her own skill tree. Challenge battles and most importantly, swimsuit costumes will also be making their way to the game. <laughs> yes, they did show off Noah's rippling abs <laughs> in the direct. <laughs> So everyone was swooning over them like, wow, no, no is a buff. Because <laughs> I'm going to assume there are no swimsuit costumes currently in the game, so you can't dress people up uh, naked for you to enjoy the, the view. Uh, next game was SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. It's a 3D platformer in the SpongeBob universe. Reminded Pimsy a lot of the Simpsons style 3D platformer stuff. And yeah, it looks like a, a Nickelodeon licensed game. It would probably uh, be appropriate well, for on. the target SpongeBob audience. is independent, isn't it? I didn't realize it was Nickelodeon. Never go wrong with no, it's, Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's been Nickelodeon for years. <clears throat> Decades, maybe. Yeah, when did, when did SpongeBob actually start? Oh, a long. I think it's one of the longest running programs. Well, yeah, that's why I'm wondering whether it's decades. I'm 1999. Yes. It is two decades. But I think that Simpsons is longer. Yeah, of course, Simpsons is longer, but it was more the point that SpongeBob has been such a long running franchise that Nickelodeon's had it for the whole time. Oh, okay, original network Nickelodeon. Uh, let's see, any other ones? I don't think there are any other ones actually. But, okay. Nick oh, oh, Nickelodeon. Well, it's not Nickelodeon anymore. So now it's just Nick. No, it's still Nickelodeon. Oh, well, they've changed the logo to Nick. Um, Nickelodeon, often shortened to Nick, is a pay television yeah. channel in America. So American? I thought it was okay. Yeah. So it's part of Paramount. But yes, it is still Nickelodeon. Oh, so it'll be on Paramount Plus then. Because it's, it's on Netflix, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's on Netflix for kids. Chances are they license SpongeBob SquarePants or wherever it makes sense to have it, you know. If they're going to have it on Paramount Plus, then you know, they'll try and offer it to more people as well. But yeah, Cosmic Shake looks okay. It's a SpongeBob game, whatever. Uh, next was Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star. That is a very, very, very niche style of game because the concept of a fitness game where you do boxing movements in time to a beat is not that unique, right? There's actual proper sports boxing. There's probably things like Just Dance style stuff. Fist of the North Star is a very niche thing for a non-Japanese audience. Uh, it might be big in America, I wouldn't know, but uh, yeah, that seemed a bit weird. And also quite basic, but oh, shit, I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, game-changing in terms of what you can do in it, because it's, it's just Brave boxing, assault. basically. Brave Assault! Oh, also, we should point out that Pimsy has changed some classes around for her character. I got, I got the notification 10. pretty much as soon as I came on. So. Yeah. That so that's easy. why some characters are different to the way that they were uh, last time. Like Senate is a healer, Tyon's an attacker, and so on. Mm -hmm. So then, after fitness boxing, there was Oddballers, which is a Ubisoft game, which is all about dodgeball, and it looks like a kind of standard party game. Have I not got a break? Uh, you might not have because you've changed your classes around. You probably haven't looked at the arts that they've all got. 
No, I haven't. I haven't got a break. Well, you just have to deal with it. Have a look for me, because I can't see one. What do you mean? I am looking. There's no break there. There's a topple. Yeah, but there's no... Nope. Break. Nope. No break. There's a daze, but no break. No break. Right, yeah, I need no to break. address that. Mm -hmm. So then, Oddballers. Uh, it's got local uh, multiplayer, four players in your living room. Take matches online and compete against five other contenders. So six player online, it looks like. And it feels very similar to uh, Human Fall Flat, uh, Push Me, Pull You. I hate you know, those that, kind of games. That style of game. Yeah, physics based, but also kind of party sports game. So, um, so yeah, again, not really something for us, but it could be fun if you play with multiple people local co-op, local multiplayer kind of stuff, that would be quite nice. Uh, then after that it was Tunic, which is an isometric Zelda-like game where you play as a fox with a sword. And it looks very similar to Death's Door, which Pimsy was saying, is that made by the same people? It's like, really similar. no, but it is a very similar presented and formatted style of game. I think in, I would enjoy it because I really enjoyed yeah. Death's Door. If you haven't played Death Store, go and play it, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, other than that, it's again, similar to what we've seen before in Death Store, it fits the formula of go and find three treasures, kill monsters, solve puzzles. Uh, I think the fact that it's a fox and it's kind of cutesy art style in isometric format is uh, the unique selling point. It's been out on Xbox for a long time, I think it's been out on PlayStation recently. So. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Then, after that, it was the Front Mission 1st, 2nd and 3rd remakes. So Pimsy was saying about how that seems like my style of game. I actually don't really like the style of game. I mean, it's a strategic game, and obviously you play with mechs and so on. But the more I looked at the trailer and stuff, the more it was like, I'm, I'm seeing lots of numbers and... Um, like complicated values and like oh i have got a break have you? but it's in, oh, an it's in the insulin uh, i do need to address that yeah uh also you're you're fighting against house hunter icardi yeah uh so yeah. a good job we're talking about Nick mm -hmm. <laughs> so from mission tactical style game turn-based style game kind of seems like it would be up my street but the, the, I think the presentation of it, and also the fact that it gets a bit too in-depth of what kind of numbers you can do. Like, I like strategic style games, but there's like a level of depth to some of them that I'm like, nah, I'm just overwhelmed by it. Uh, also, the idea is, is that Front Mission remakes are for people that played the original game, and they just want to play it again in a nicer looking way. Uh, also, you're dead. I'm not. It was temporarily. Yeah, temporarily. So anyway, uh, remix for those. I almost killed it. Yeah, no, you, you, you will make it through the fight. Uh, this so. isn't actually part of anything, it's just I saw it on the way and I oh. thought, oh, I can do that. Right, you're dying for no reason. I'm not dying. Okay. I am succeeding! Sure. Uh, then, after the Front Mission remix, was the first of a deluge of farming games. Oh, there was so there was many so farming, many farming games. games. There was so, like six or seven, mm -hmm. maybe even more. So the first one was Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. And that's an interesting one because it's actually, supposedly, a remake of another game, of an older game called Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So Story of Seasons is the new title yeah, of boy! that game. And you conquered the, the beast. Well done. Knock on coins for everyone. Nom, 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 nom. So Story of Seasons is the new title for the game that is made by the original Harvest Moon developers. And there's been a bit of like complicated uh, intellectual property uh, issues with that. Because Harvest Moon as a franchise still exists but not made by the same people. So people consider it to be a lot worse. The other thing is that Story of Seasons is 
supposed to be the real Harvest Moon kind of <laughs> stuff. But when it comes to people like Pimsy, they're like, no, I don't want to play that Harvest Moon style game. I want to play a game like Stardew Valley, which is more like the traditional Harvest Moon, which is the 2D sprite-based stuff rather than the 3D modeled stuff. Because I remember playing Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life on the GameCube. So. Oh, I'm playing the GameCube. I'm better than you. No, it's that's why it's a remake. Is it's a game that existed. I didn't have before. a GameCube. Yeah, I know you didn't have a GameCube. You had lots of Game Boys and DSs and so on. Lots. No. Yeah. No, not yeah. lots. One. One. Hello. No. Got you. Well coordinated. Oh, do you know what? That's Hello. the reason it's vibrating. I've got it on silent mode on today. Hey, it's you. I'm worried. Oh, no. Who's you? Fuck's uh, sake. Zeon! Have we seen Zeon before? No. I don't know who we're supposed to have. <laughs> but we haven't. Maybe we're supposed to have found this a lot later. Some special forces you are. Hmm. You shut your trap. What a joke. You consider me the joke, do you? Really now? Hey, isn't he? Yeah, he's our friend from Colony Nine. Oh, That's wait, no. Wrong. What? You're traitors. You're no friends of mine. From Colony Nine. Zion, just listen. We don't want to. Drop it, you. Maybe they've seen him, but we, as the viewer, haven't. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Mimi. His wing is uh, oh, different to the, to the other ones. They're just little yeah. wings. Usually the high end tier ears are a lot oh, bigger than the like like Yeah. Alright, well, where the heart is sparrow has wings. been updated. Okay. So, while you take out the Xeon, uh, next thing on the direct was the Splatoon 3 Splatfest. So... That was actually the first time I'd seen anything related to Splatoon 3 because I didn't watch the, the Splatoon Direct that they had. Uh, oh, so. I didn't change the bloody break. You didn't change the break, no. But, yeah, I mean, you know, Splatoon 3 is a Splatoon game. Uh, it's interesting because Pimsy was saying about how I got into playing Splatoon 1 on the Wii U and then since then it's kind of like, eh, I'm not really that interested in it. But that's because when it was on the Wii U, it was the new, fresh take on the team-based online shooter. And now it's kind of like, well, you know. They've added additions to the Splatoon formula, but nothing to kind of hook me in again. Uh, like, I know they've probably improved the story stuff, like with the Opto expansion in Splatoon 2, and then what everything in Splatoon 3. There might be DLC in Splatoon 3 at some point, I don't know. But, yeah. Kind of, kind of over Splatoon at the moment. But who knows, might get back into it later. So there was that. Uh, then there was uh, an announcement that we didn't really expect, or at least I didn't. O Octopath Traveler 2. Oh, yeah. So it's surprising, but Octopath Traveler has been out for a long time. Uh, but yeah, they yeah. just Square Enix have been pumping out a lot of. HD 2D games, and this is the next one. So it's clearly working well for them in terms of the oh, production my. pipeline. So Obvious Path Traveler 2, uh, I don't know whether it's a direct sequel. It might not be, because it's got different characters in it. But I never actually finished Obvious Path Traveler. I'm still kind of trying to play through it, but the thing is that it, because it's an RPG, it's a long game, and you, know, you find less and less opportunities to play long games nowadays. Uh, so, it's a time rain, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my healers are both dead. They are. That's not going to happen then, is it? Uh, unless you can heal as part of the interlink. Uh, I can't interlink because she's dead. No, I mean, if Uni and Tyon can interlink and heal, or Noah and um, Landman's can interlink and heal. I but think that the biggest thing would be if I can get a chain attack. Yeah, a chain attack will probably help. Um, I don't think chain attacks are active whilst somebody's down. Uh, no, I guess they can't be, can they? Because yeah. everyone's involved in a chain attack. Yeah. So. Oh well, you die. My healers died, mm -hmm. so it's new classes. 
Retry. I'll try one more time and then I'll do different tests and come back. Okay. Um. So before I do that, let's change quickly... out your art so you can do break, um, then topple, then days. Yeah, because I can't currently do that. Yeah. Uh... Uh, the next game after Octopath Traveler 2 was Fay Farm. Does so anybody have the next one? Is that nobody's got one? Nobody's got a break. I don't think so. Hmm. Nobody's got a break. That's why there's no break. So then you're gonna have to switch around the classes a bit. Yeah. Um, so, uh, let's change out, uh, you can be... So Lens is going to be, what, a defender? He's currently a defender. Okay, but a different defender? Well, the problem is he's already, uh, done Ogre. Okay, well then make him a healer or something. Uh, where was he now? Well, I don't know, I mean, he back out. So, he is a Zephyr. What's so, a Zephyr? Zephyr is the one that Mio is walking on. Right, okay. Because he's already level 10 for his rank, and level 10 for Senna's rank. Right, so hang on. Let's, so let's change the attacker, or... because I do have another attacker. Uh -huh. So he can be sword fighter, and I think... I think, I think, I think... That you think that would give have... him a break? It does. Okay. It's got sword strike. Right. So a sword then, that's okay. fine. Fair enough. I'm um, just gonna quickly auto build that though. Sure. I don't know whether it'll change. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to make some jammy gems. You do need to make some gems. Jim jam drum drums. So yeah, Fae Farm looks like an RPG style farming game. There's a bit of a different presentation to it compared to uh, Story of Seasons, which is kind of like the traditional Harvest Moon. Whereas this is more like a more modern version. See, uh, we're already fairies. Days, yeah. This is much better because then yeah, we've, we've got the great combination. Mm -hmm. this, this is better. So after Bay Farm, there was Theatre Rhythm. So Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line, which features a selection of Final Fantasy uh, game songs and other Square Enix stuff available as DLC. So there was Near Automata, Live Alive, and uh, I think Romancing Saga as well. So. Yeah, it's like a, a rhythm beat style game, so that's good for the people that like those, but I've never really been that interested in those myself, to be fair. Uh, after that, it was Mario plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope. So they showed off that Bowser is a playable character, or at least a party member. Um, I don't know whether Rosalina has been shown off. There's a rabid Rosalina, but I don't know whether the actual Rosalina's been there. He wasn't on the, the direct. And Paulina. Uh, and Pauline. Pauline. Because you said Rosalina. Ro yeah. Pauline. Pauline was not announced for Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Wait, so. no, hang on. What was she announced as then? Well, was we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But yeah, Sparks of Hope seems like a, a you know, a good iteration on oh, wrong the... Ones. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle formula. I like the fact that it's more of a free roam stuff rather than uh, turn-based and Overwatch stuff. So that comes out in October, I believe, which is very soon. Then after that, it was Rune Factory 3 Special, which is a remake of Rune Factory 3 that is now available on Switch. So again, it is another farming RPG game, but it's a remake of a game that already existed. So, I think, actually, Rune Factory was probably the first series that actually tried to do RPG game stuff in a farming game. Like, the idea of going around and fighting monsters in a cave with swords or weapons and so on, and then also having farming stuff. I think, I'm pretty sure Rune Factory started that off and then everyone else just kind of copied it. So. Then, the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack. So, Nintendo 64 games, there's going to be Mario Party 1, 2, and 3, Excite Bike 64, 1080 Snowboarding, Pilot Wind 64, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, and interestingly enough, GoldenEye uh, on the Nintendo 64, which was not a game that many people expected to be in there, uh, because obviously GoldenEye is James Bond, James Bond has licensing agreements needed, but they've got it for the... Nintendo 64 expansion membership, so kind of interesting. And GoldenEye as well being like the 
the very first game to popularize the first person shooter controls with dual aiming on controls and uh, buttons. Is that not the only one? Uh, I don't know. You should be able to take them down though, because the, the chain attack will kill Roar and then move on to the next person, I assume. Uh, after that, it was Various Daylife. So, Various Daylife is another person in an RPG style format. No, it's doing it overkill, it's not moving on the next one. Uh, okay, I see, yeah. Fair enough. But then you can do area of effect abilities to, uh, to attack the others. Uh, yeah. So, Various Daylife, I think, is actually a mobile game that's been put onto the Switch for $30, I think people have said, which seems very steep and it's not very interactive either, so people have been recommending to avoid that one, at least on Switch. Then Factorio. So Factorio's been on PC for a long time. Okay. It's a big automation and building management simulator. So some people have been wondering about how the Switch is going to handle that in terms of its performance, because obviously uh, it's a complicated game and some PCs don't run it very well, so the Switch being a much less powerful machine might be a bit awkward, but you know, it's nice that you can have a portable version, although you could already do that with a, a Switch, uh, the Nintendo, no, the Steam Deck. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that's another kind of addicting game to stick your teeth into. After that, it was Ib, which is a bit of a, a quirky RPG maker looking style game that is kind of horror related. Not much to say about it other than, yeah, it looks like it'll be quirky and eccentric and, you know, there'll be a certain audience for it that I'm not part of, honestly. Uh, then... Doing better with my healers not dying. Yes, that does help, doesn't it? It does. Then Mario Strikers Battle League update. So that is where Pauline was announced. So that she is, is an aggressive powerhouse, I think they mentioned. Cab. So uh, Pauline is the newest character there. But also Diddy Kong, who is a, a speedy midfielder style, skillful um, player. So it's nice to see that Mario Strikers Battle League is getting updated and stuff. Because this is all free DLC as well, it's not like people have to pay a battle pass or a season pass for this kind of stuff. Hey, I got level 1. Oh, nice. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, again, I haven't really played Battle League. I kind of got turned off it when I realised that you can't play with four different people on different Switches. It's two people have to be on one Switch and two people have to be on another. So. When they say up to four people play online, it's kind of like, well, it's not really. It is, but it's not the way that you want it to be. So. Uh, but that's coming out uh, at the end of September, I think? Yeah, I think so. Then there was Atelier Riser 3, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key. So Atelier Riser has been a, a long-running Japanese Rob, can you find out franchise. how to get level 1, 2, 3, whatever of insulin? Because I don't understand. Hey, I did it! Yay! I don't understand how to do that. Sometimes it's several ones, sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Commander, please respond. Oh. What's wrong? That's different text boxes. I think it's because, because they're it's through the they're iris. hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder what's going on. <sighs> Commander? Yes. I'm thinking. Hey, what did you just say? Zeon's the commander now. Does that mean the old one? There was a change of command. Someone had to take the fall for the traitors. They even dropped our colony rank. We've been so pressed for food, we had to venture out this far. All because of you. It's all your fault. Wow. Crap. Go back. We'll take care of things here. I can't allow that. Just get going already. The Agnian Battalion. They're using terrain to cover their approach, am I right? How do you know that? I'm well aware that you don't trust me. I'm just speaking aloud here. We'll intercept the enemy troops, engage them while they're still advancing. They won't get their hands on the colony. You retreat and shore up your defenses. What are you really after here? Why is it you're fighting? We're both in very different positions now. 
But that doesn't have to mean everything's changed between. Everything has changed. Oh, well done. A voice of Walk reason. Load of Come off it. Wait. Change of plans. We're bringing them back to the colony. What? What? You're handing them into the console. No. I'm integrating them into our force as the vanguard. We're fighting with them. Mwamba died because of them. We're up against a whole battalion. Hardly the time for us to be picky. It's also possible that Ouroboros have instigated this attack themselves. We are Ouroboros. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you can't be serious. You know exactly how serious I am. Fire and spark. Why so serious? Hold up. Let's do as he says. What? Why should we? Just play along. We'll be better able to help protect Colony 9 if we're part of the plan. Plans? <laughs> if you say so. You have good friends. <laughs> One day I'm going to crack that thick bonce of yours and really see what makes you tick. I look forward to it. You lot head back and update Kite on the situation. I'll see to these ones. Meet me in command. As you say. <sighs> But when they put text boxes, you oh. said that everything's <laughs> changed between us. Your words no longer have merit. So let's judge where your allegiance lies by way of your actions. I understand. We won't let you down. We probably will. We're gonna fuck off and do Zeon some. Zeon has temporarily joined the party. We're gonna fuck off and do some side missions, probably. Hmm. Well, you you did the elimination thing, so. Uh, as to your question. The Which intellect question? system in Xenoblade 3 is unlocked in Chapter 3. Uh, the most crucial component is your ability to raise the intellect level. So, in terms of raising the intellect level, in battle, the intellect level between each character pair will have slowly increased during combat, but only when they are not fighting in the intellect form. Uh, as any given battle progresses, the intellect between Ouroboros partners will increase, starting from level 0. So, no and Mia share a level, Uni, Tyon, Lanz, and Seller. Senna. So, da 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 da. The fastest way to increase your interlink level is to perform fusion arts, which is when your Kevis and Agnes based arts are linked, uh, which is towards the bottom of the screen. Still don't quite understand. Can you put it in layman's terms? Do fusion arts, and your interlink level will raise. There's no bar or meter that shows how close you are to the next level. Just keep fighting and performing fusion arts, uh, and watch the number in the lower left What's UI. That? Right. So, Basically, a higher... there's no way of telling. No, there is. You, you, you can't see how far you are onto the next level, but you can see how many levels you've got. So, interlink level of zero means that you don't last long in the interlink form. Uh... Interlink levels don't carry over from one battle to the next, so it also always starts at zero. Ah, my enemy! I will destroy you this time. Yeah. Uh, so some Ouroboros arts have a bonus effect if you're at level three. Uh, so yeah. So the interlink level goes up between each pair, starting at zero, maxing out at level three, but only when characters are not fused together. Uh, it starts at zero every battle. Oh, that was so much easier than the first time. Yeah, it's funny that when you're the right level. So the higher the intellect level when it's uh, triggered, the more effective the abilities are. And some arts have bonus effects when they're done at level three. Right, so okay. basically do fusion arts, which are highlighted when you're um, choosing them. Ooh. Liberating colonies! So, so, destroying a flame clock will uh, liberate them from the console's grasp, deepens affinity with citizens, and gives you bonuses. So oh, look, you are now back at Colony 9. Commander, five by five. How do I do this? Now zip your mouth and let's move. How do you do what? How do I destroy it? Destroy what? The flame clock. You already did it. Yeah. Actually, no, you haven't. No, yeah, I the, haven't. the flame clock is at the top right. Yeah, wasn't it Colony 4 that I destroyed the flame clock, not Colony yes. 9? Yes. So, destroying the flame clock for Colony 9 will probably be the hero quest, which is the yellow exclamation mark that you're going towards. No, 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 the yellow exclamation mark is related to something completely different. 
Okay. Because um, well. we need to talk to him, talk to our pal. Talk to your pal. He's going to interrogate I'm impressed. Us. You didn't run away this time. Uh, I'll explain what comes next. The rest of you are dismissed. Stay cool, kite. I'm Let's always cool. Go fly a kite up to yeah. the highest heights. Let's go Tell us about fly Agus's a kite and send it. Right now, they're assembling their forces on uh, Everblight Plain. Fill the atmosphere up where the too high is clear. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay, They've stopped enough. concealing themselves. I'll wake Elliot up. It feels like too loud. <laughs> you get high, um, loud when you go high. Are confident they have the numbers mm, for no. a full assault then? Or perhaps it's a feint. Or they're just a bunch of dolts who like pretending they have a plan. <laughs> no, they're a bunch of adults. I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Hey, we need a little levity sometimes. With enough food, we can draw this out. Give the word, okay. and we can even launch a raid. I told you, that's not going to happen. It would cost us too many... What then? Our troops are hungry, anxious, and quite frankly, more pissed off by the hour. You leave things like this, and we're going to fall apart by ourselves. We could just remove their reason for fighting you. What? In plain language, please. If we smashed your flame clock... It would alter the equation. Is, then. If you smashed it. Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Kite, biggest joker of all. This is why Kite always runner up in life. No one can take serious with hopeless <sighs> second best attitude. Oh, shut it, Riku. You, you really know how to hit a man when he's down, don't you? Why are you back here, anyhow? How'd you worm your way back into Zeon's favor? Meh. No worming performed. We don't need you here. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Betray me. I can't deal with this dirt anymore. We feel just the same. Which is why we want to do as much as we possibly can to help. That's why we came back. Yeah. You're not fooling anybody. Yeah, we actually came back to get a new hero. You need not believe. <laughs> but they will prove to be an asset. Huh. So that's it. You're siding with them in the end. You choose Noah over your own lieutenant. Again. That's not what I'm saying. Don't you realize how hard I'm trying here? Ugh! Spot this. <laughs> we'll say Sorry. pissed off, but we won't say fuck. I didn't mean to <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, was this not your intent? I would have thought you'd be gloating by now. We can gloat if it makes you feel better. But you can't just judge someone in the heat of the moment. Whatever you might think, suspicion will be cast upon you. That is what judging is. That is all I can say. Suspicious or not, isn't it about time you tell us this plan of yours? You said we'd prove to be an asset. I'll continue. Though we have a geographical advantage, our provisions and numbers are limited. That's what the enemy will be banking on. And that's where you come in. As the vanguard. Our sudden appearance will put a spanner in their works, and that will give you the edge you need, right? Seeing Keves and Agnes bods fighting together and tearing up their front lines is going to throw them off their game for sure. So we've got to fight independently then. Better than being on a leash, I suppose. You seem to misunderstand. I'm not cutting you loose. You are still being regarded as traitors. Keep in mind that I shall be supervising your every action personally. He's coming with us. Yeah. Well, he's temporarily joined the party. Commander, sir. Do you have to? <laughs> I'll send details of the operation to your iris. The plan will commence at once. We're on it. Uh, yes, sir, Commander, sir. The normal wings look like what I would class as angel wings. Hmm. His look like bird wings. Hmm. That's the biggest difference from what I well, can tell. I can't remember seeing any other uh, high end tier. People with different style wings. So, no, we well, have. We've we'll seen see. the ones with black wings as well. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, fair enough. Haven't we? Yeah, you're probably right. Anyway, so, I'm just gonna. Uh, Stress spot discovered. I'm just gonna quickly do this because I don't know whether there'll be something some here. 
Uh, so is there anything to, no, nothing discuss. to discuss? Is there anything specific to cook here? Yeah, polter, veggie beans. Yeah, because we've not had that, have we? I don't think so, but you know, might as well have it. I'll start, shall I? Does this mean I've learned it though? Ah, uh, you do get a scene of Manana eating oh, it. So good. Hey, there you go. Spicy, spicy so zest. So I think we should, whenever we find a new rest spot with a canteen, with a canteen, uh, we should eat. Eat so you get the recipe. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Anything else here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any green dots of people to talk to, so. Yeah. So, um, where are we? So, I think that. You have to go that so, way. that's the mission for the yep. hero quest. Mm -hmm. but, but. There is a question mark up here. There is. And I can travel there now. Yep. I couldn't before. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to quickly go and get this quest. Sure. Uh, so, going back to the Nintendo Direct. The next thing was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wave 3. So they showed off uh, Peach Gardens from the DS game. And there were a couple of other game, other courses, like there was one from Mario Kart Tour, which you pointed out, but I forget why. Hmm? Um, With the Wubba? Can you repeat what you just said, please? Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Cast Booster Course Pass Wave 3. They've got a massive... Merry Mountain was the Christmas one. That's the one I think you pointed out. It was like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, it's Christmas themed. Um, but I also quite liked um, uh, Princess Peach Gardens again. Yes, the DS one. That, uh, Question mark! Yes. What is this? What is? Huh? Huh? Look! Oh, it's a hero. It is a hero. Mimi, that's Kyrie from Colony Gamma. What? Kyrie. Friend of yours? Yes, but the story will have to wait. Okay, let's give her a hand. The story will have to wait, Pimsy. So we've got another hero quest then. Going Sweet. beyond power. This is a good thing to come over here then if it's another yeah, hero quest. Yeah, it's another hero quest. Ooh, Level 25. Ooh, okay. Alright. So after Mario Kart 8, was the Nintendo Switch Sports uh, delay for golf. So we were surprised that golf wasn't actually included in the, the original base game, but apparently we need a bit more time for it. But also it's got um, survival golf too. Yes, the multiplayer one where uh, multiple people play and the one that has the most strokes will get knocked out. And then you carry on in the next hole and so on. So, oh, well. A bit disappointing for the people that were waiting for that, but I guess we didn't really matter Can that I much. do Fusion A attack? Uh, don't think so. Fusion Arts have to be the ones on the up, that down, match. and left. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's on the right, so is that the A button or is that the left button? Uh, what do you mean? Their A button, yeah. Is that a Fusion Art with my smash? No. Fusion Arts have the, the slash... Um, name for it. So ah, look, it is. It's on the left. Yeah, when you press the ZR, Fusion does the Fusion R. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it was my uh, Y as well, right, which so I didn't know about. The, the the one on the right on that side is my left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then after Switch Sports, uh, Miyamoto came out and talked about Pikmin Bloom. So oh, the mobile game. No, 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 game. let me pick them up. Okay, did it pick them up? Yeah, they automatically go towards you when you're in the cutscene. Me? Kyrie. Mio! 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 You're in one piece. Thank you so much for saving me. I'm so glad you're alive. Yes, yes. No need mm -hmm. to get so excited. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll calm down. Deep breaths. What are you doing here, Kyrie? Colony cameras. Oh, well, actually. I ran away! You separated from your unit again. I'm so sorry. I just have no sense of direction at all. Never change, Kyrie. She's interesting, isn't she? Interesting. A pain in the neck. Same difference, I suppose. <laughs> so, Mio, those other people. Don't worry about them. They're my friends, and they helped save you. Ah, so they did. Thanks again, Mio. Why, thanks, Mio. Well, the rest of us are mistake. <laughs> Believe it. That's just Kyrie. Mio, let's hurry.
journey back to the colony. I bet the commander will be pleased to see you too. Yeah, about that. Can I have a quick word? Of course. He doesn't know. Well, no, this is an old question, but well, how do we look to you? Ah. Oh. How do you look? Well, let me see. <laughs> we have to call the fashion police. You look dirty. <laughs> At all. You can't just change your clothes as you please, that's against regulation. Hmm, but they suit you so perfectly. I mean, your obviously your outfit suited you to a T as well, but I mean, thanks, Kyrie. That's all I needed. Happy to help. <laughs> I just I like her. something with everyone. <laughs> Mind waiting? No problem. I don't think we should tell her. <laughs> she seems in her right mind anyway. No glowing iris, just classic Kyrie. But does this mean we don't look like hostiles to everyone? Let's not worry about that for now. What should we do with her? I wonder if you you only look hostile if That's they've been the given the directive. Maybe. I want to take her back to the colony if we can. We can't send her out on her own. It's dangerous, and she'd definitely get lost again. Fine with me, but would she be okay hanging out with us, Kevesi? It's possible that the commander of Colony Gamma would hear us out. At least, he isn't the type to turn around and capture people without warning. Can we trust him? Better than the Consul. Trust me on that. If both of you are willing to go that far, then he seems worth meeting. Thank you. If anything happens, I'll do everything I can to keep you all safe, I promise. Thanks for waiting. Let's go, Kyrie. Ready, Mio? And Zion's in the back, just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Good you know. names. Not never, even never showing in the, yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Right. All right, new affinity log with Kyrie. Look at all the Kavesi stuff I brought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so I wasn't expecting that to be this, but right, so there's that one. Ooh, sorry, I've got chills. Uh -huh. You know, when your arm hairs go on end. There's that one and there's that one. There They're is. both hero quests. Yep. There's also this over here. So... I don't think you can reach that one yet. I don't think I can reach it from here. Yes. But I think if we went round here... I think you should wait until you get a traversal skill to try and do that one. Well, can I at least try and go round here? No, go and do the hero quest. Which one? This one or this one? I think that one's the only one you can do at the top right. The top left one you can't do. Because yeah, you, can, you, you know where near. Yeah, but I can just go up and round because I think okay, that's why okay. I'm here. Fine. So uh, there's a um, ether thingy ma doodah up here. Ether thingy I couldn't go up here before because the game uh, stops you. Computer said no. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, so, Nintendo Direct, Miyamoto came and talked about Pikmin Bloom, Pokemon Go books for Pikmin stuff. And then they showed off Pikmin 4. Whoop, 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 whoop. They didn't show off. They said they the title. They showed off a quick, small trailer it's and a, a real... screenshot or two. They didn't show a trailer. A little snippet. They didn't show a trailer. They showed a yeah. picture. They showed a little trailer with enemies wandering around. Mm. Anyway, basically, they showed fuck all, but it exists. It does exist, and it is planned to be released in 2023. Yeah. They didn't say when in 2023, just 2023. Probably like December. <laughs> uh, and also, they said that there's going to be a camera change. So previously, Pikmin games, you're kind of like looking above everyone, whereas the camera in Pikmin 4 seems to be a lot closer to the ground, so everything will look a lot, look a lot larger. I've already got that. I've already got that. Uh, so then, after Pikmin 4, they did like a roundup of games. So Just Dance 2023 edition. So just dance game, you do motions to dance moves and stuff like that. Uh, Harvest Stellar, which is another farming JRPG game, but this one's made by Square Enix. So apparently that one might have a bit more uh, crossover with Square Enix stuff, maybe, I don't know. They showed off some stuff in Bayonetta 3. Uh, they also said there was a, a separate gameplay trailer for that. Uh, then, one game that looked quite interesting according to us was Master Detective Archives Rain Code, which yeah. is the anime style game that looks similar to Danganronpa, uh, but it is basically you are playing as a prodigy detective that has a spirits guide that kind oh. of mocks you. 
but yeah, that looks like it could be quite interesting as a detective style game. So, I think, let's see. Wait, hang on, there is that one that hadn't been opened. So, Yuma is an amnesiac detective in training, and Shinigami is the spirit haunting them. Uh, They're uh, trying to solve mysteries in a strange city. So, master detectives around the world possess unique powers, must rise to the challenge of Ah, truth. freaking knew it! You can travel fully within a 3D environment of the city to gather evidence and testimonies. Once the investigation progresses, there will be a realm known as the Mystery Labyrinth. Uh, the mysteries shrouding the case materialize as gimmicks and traps. The rules of reality don't apply, you have to delve into the labyrinth and get to the heart of the case. Mystery phantoms will do whatever it takes to prevent you from reaching the truth. Slash contradictions to pieces with a solution blade. So they're kind of mixing a dungeon crawler style game with a detective game, but eh, it could be quite interesting. I like, I quite like the look of it. Uh, there's a few Resident Evil cloud games announced. So Village, uh, Biohazard, which is Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. Then Sifu, which is the karate game where if you die you get older but you can learn more techniques. Uh, those games have already been out for a while now, so it's like, yeah, it's just nice to have Switch versions of them. Then Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Um, that is a PSP remake, it seems, um, for Final Fantasy VII stuff. Obviously they can't put Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, onto the Switch, so that's like the, the next best option. Radiant Silver Gun is kind of just a classic uh, shoot 'em up style game, so that's getting a remaster, I think. It's not the original game release. Uh, then Endless Dungeon, I'll be honest, I don't even remember what Endless Dungeon was. It's uh, not a very it's descriptive a, name. It's basically a dungeon crawler that is procedurally generated. Oh, yes, it's the, the three person co op roguelike. Rogue light tactical action game uh, with shipwrecked heroes. So yes, it's a rogue light with three people that you can play with on. But it's, proced it's procedurally, procedurally generated. generated yeah. That's the main thing. Uh, then Tales of Symphonia remastered. So Tales of Symphonia is considered ah, to be one of the best Tales of games. Um, so there's obviously that was also on the GameCube, and they put a Switch version on as well. Then. A bit of a sizzle reel for Life is Strange Arcadia Bay Collection, Romancing Saga, Lego Brick Tales, Disney Speedstorm, and Fall Guys Season 2, which Pimsy pointed out as uh, a new season of Fall Guys was due to happen. I, I did say that before it even the this, this stream, even, uh, stream, the um, video even started. I said, mm -hmm. I, bet, I bet that's what they'll do. Yep. Then uh, after that, it was Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So that is a remake of the Wii version of the game, which was itself already a remake of a Game Boy game, I think. So that's got a Switch version now. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Return to Dreamland was the Wii version, so they obviously got a Switch version. It looks similar to Kirby Star Allies, and the thing that I noticed quite uh, noticeably is that King DDD looks very different compared to his usual look. So I think they're sticking with uh, the most recent look for DDD. And then finally was Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we didn't actually get to hear the subtitle so it might be Tears of the Kingdom or it might be Tears of the Kingdom. We don't know yet. Um, but I think yes. it's more likely to be Tears. tears. Um, so that, again, that was the thing that was suggested to be like a, hey, we just had the Queen die, maybe we should have a game that's called Tears of the Kingdom be announced live. Bit too raw. Bit on the nose. Interlink level 1, I see. Okay, yeah. so if I did this now... You'd be yeah. level 1, yeah. Cool. So Tears of the Kingdom there, there. showed off a couple of, like, travelling vertically kind of stuff. So that's obviously got the Skyward Sword, um inspiration. So Skyward Thought Sword HD has been on the Switch for a while now. But... You haven't some... played it, have you? No, I haven't played it. So much. Some people have been wondering whether the logo, with the Master Sword being dark green and black, shows off 
something to do with Twilight, Twilight Princess, maybe? It did have Twilight Princess feels. I'm hoping that there'll be a Twilight um, realm or something, or maybe the, mm -hmm. the tr being able to transform into animals, um, or, or uh, Midna. <laughs> like Midna, so it'd be nice maybe. to see her. Maybe. Um, or maybe him from Skyward Sword is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I really like him. Like one of the funniest um, and creepiest because he does that thing. Yes, he? the licking of the lips. Yeah. So. Uh... Sorry for the little interruptions. I've had some things come up to say that apparently we're switching over to the automatic stop scene. The so what? So what happened I'm going to try and keep an eye on it, but basically for uh, our stream, I have it set up so that if we go to the outro screen, we go to the automatic stop screen, which stops the stream and stops recording. But for some reason, it was switching over to the outro screen midway through the game, which is a bit odd. I don't know why it's doing that. I can't answer that because I also do not know. See if we can keep this up. So. You want to restart no, no, the stream? No, it's fine. You can carry on because I've, I've turned it back on now and I can't see doing it again. But yeah, this is just a bit odd. I'm wondering whether I. Could I didn't stop. I was no, doing no. the. No, no. Oh, right. You're doing the offseer thing. Yeah. Um, so I didn't stop, so don't yeah, worry. Yeah, it's just a. Do not fret, I'm not my it love. Do that before. It's a bit weird. Uh, yeah. Get up here. Woo! Ooh. Let's see, is it a What's scene group that? or a macro? They found us. A rocky to ruffle! Uh, I don't really care about that. What I want to know no. is what is this? Oh, it's probably a container. Oh, I can't go up there. No. I think that's a skill that I'll need to get is going up the sandy yeah, things. Yeah, most likely. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry. You die. Oh, man. Okay, so... The screen scene switcher is always started. Is it... Why did I... I don't even know where I went. <laughs> Never mind, I'll go this way. I'm pretty Strange. Oh, I have yeah. no idea why the thing switched over to our uh, outro screen. Just done it again since. Don't ask me. I've got no idea. I don't know how that stuff works. Mm -hmm. You do that stuff way more than oh, well. I do. I'll keep an eye on it, but yeah, it's just a bit odd. Bit odd. I'm glad I didn't do it like we were, well, while we were in the middle of a story thing. Oof. If it had, it's not a huge deal. Nah. Because to be honest, we're not doing story anyway. No, you're not doing story anyway. I'm doing hero quests. You told mm, me to do hero quests. I didn't tell you to do hero quests. You want new characters, yeah? New characters are interesting, yeah. But yeah. I didn't tell you to do hero it's quests. It's not story, but it's story. Mm, yeah, in some ways. Back off, Rocky to Ruffle. Go and eat some rocks and piss off out of my business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I want, but I can't. Oi, fuck oh, fuck off! You died. No! I'm gonna have to kill that thing. That's killed me like twice now. It's killed you twice, so what makes you think that you can kill it? Because it's level 27 and I can do it. You're level 25. Yeah, if I'm in battle, my healers will heal me, but it's been shooting me, that's the problem. And mm, if you die on the road, you die. Mm -hmm. Guys, get ready to fight. That one's not a special, so it's not going to do as much damage before you come in. We'll see about that, won't we? It's not doing any damage right now. So. No, it hasn't hit you yet. Right, the rock wall that is causing me aggro is this thing here. That one. That one's not going away. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you, you can break and topple it so it's not going to immediately murder you. It's funny Focus your attack on the Exuno bullet. 
pay no attention to the rocky toad apple. Oh wait, I do need them to pay attention a little bit, but I yeah, want to get this thing free. Yeah, but I've got healers, it's fine. I know, I'm just saying, it did half your health. There we go. Now it's good. Good Oh, yeah. I'm in the rock one. No. Definitely not. A modal fire. Oh, can I get up to intimate level 2, do you think, or not? Uh, I mean, if you're doing fusion arts, I don't see why not. Can it go to level 3? Yes, it can go to level 3. Okay. But you have to do fusion arts first. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm gonna have to do quite a few, be fair. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't have a, a gauge that fills up that you can see is a bit awkward. Yeah. It's one of those things that you just keep an eye on it and it should be fine. There we go. Okay. See, they've already got to level 2 on there. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I didn't do that one. Oh! Chain attack, go! Brave Assault! <laughs> oh, it's already toppled. Oh, you're looking for days. Days. Ninety-nine. And we're gonna go for defender. Defender. I want. Um, the one that lifts it up. Huh? Heroic Chain adds 15 TP upon own reactivation. Ooh. Okay, Awaken Plus, so let's do that. It's because he's not been used before. Yeah. Rap, rap, rap. Cool. Very cool. Heroic chain. Um, okay, so what do we want? Reduces the defense, reduces aggro, or increases defense, aggro. Yep, let's do that. Attack up for all allies seems like a good choice. Yes. Um, so. Oh, charger? No, I want a defender first. Um. Do area defense, high aggro, high aggro, and aggro. Attack down, yeah. Yeah, attack down's not a bad one because it's below half health, so. Actually, no, it doesn't have a health bar fire thing icon. What's that? So, yeah, it doesn't have one. Mm. So, uh, yeah. What did they use last? I have no idea. Mm. Uh, mm. Need the defense down? Mm. Does oh, that make a not? difference? Do I need to heal anybody? Vision mm. up. Is it? Nah. Just pick one. It doesn't really matter. You're going to kill this thing anyway. I don't think I will in the chain attack. Not in the chain attack, but you're going to kill it in, a, in the fight. I don't think choosing a suboptimal uh, order in this is going to make a difference. Bonk. Bonk a donk. Reactivation. Okay, we are gonna go for a power charge on hit. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go for yeah, fuck it, days. Why not? Really bonk this thing in the face. Point limit. And then we'll go for our lovely defense, and we're gonna go for a ether down and high aggro error of effect. Pow. I don't think I'll have any more. I think that's it. Ta -da. Yes. I thought so. I do want to use this. 
Insulin, go! I didn't want to like get all the way up and then not and use it. And then not use it because it resets to zero at the end of the fight anyway. Yeah. Ta da! Rank up! And skill mastered. Well, I would assume when you go to the menu and you select your skills, you'll we'll see that skill has been mastered. You those? Master skills? Okay, fair so that thing was killing me every time. Yes. Very annoying. And now you're trying to go to the container that you are probably. No, no, no I can't. I can't go to that. I need a skill. Okay. Ooh. Hmm? I think that's what I'm going to. Possibly. No, that's actually not what I'm going to. Well, the thing I'm... Whoa! Another Rocky to Ruffle! Ruffle, Ruffle, he's had one. The Crocodile. Mm, not really. It is a crocodile, look at it. Crocodiles have four limbs, that doesn't, that's only got two. Name one thing that looks remotely like that. Like... Uh, that seems to be traditionally a... Lindworm or Rockworm? That being a version of a dragon. So, Lindworms or Rockworms are things with tails but also two arms. And look dragon like, obviously. Oh, we can do this. They, look dragon -like. they have claw tails. They do. Cursed cuisine. Oh yeah. Okay, now that one's done. Come on, Mia! Mortal fire. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Get You going for a break? Cool. Back in action. Couple days. Couple days. Don't want to do that. Want to end on a new bro. Sure. Secretary mm -hmm. Overkill. It's there. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I got it. Round two. Mm -hmm. Three. Round two. Cool. Reactivation. Destroyed. Ta-da! 
You leveled up. Woo. And you're ranked up too. Noise. Right, so I don't think this one. What is this? It's a ladder. Colony Gamma. Oh, this is Colony Gamma. That's Colony Gamma. Well, let's go up here. Let's use this. <laughs> let's use this. It's nothing. Point. <gasps> Cutscene! Gamma main approach. Wait here! I'll go ahead and tell everyone! The traitors are here! No, the traitors are here! Maybe, just wait! <laughs> hey guys! Mio's come back! Tyon and Senna too! Uh oh. Everybody's gonna attack us. Hmm. I don't know. They might just take Welcome Tyree's word back. for it. There they go. We were okay. so worried about you guys. Oh. They really don't know. Probably not affected in the same way. Good job sticking it out, Senna. We were pretty sure you were dead. Fitz, why do you have to be so snarky about everything? All of you. I'm so glad you're okay. Mio. It's been so long. Yeah, don't mind us. <laughs> We're from a different colony. They're gonna hate us. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, are those actual tears? Uni? <laughs> Snuff it, you big dummy. Oh, they wanted that reunion and oh, we didn't get there it. There you mm -hmm. are, Teach. <laughs> It's Teach McCool Guy! He looks chill. Neo, Senna, Tyon. You're... It's wonderful to see you again. Hello. I'm truly sorry, Commander Teach. Oh, that's his actual name. The details can wait till later. I'm sure you'd appreciate a rest, no? I imagine getting here was by no means a simple task. A teleport. Am I right? Yes. We appreciate your concern. And as for our visitors here, we can make our introductions later. Hmm. <laughs> Much calmer. Uh. Mm -hmm. We're getting back in than I was expecting. Unless he's harboring a deep secret by the change of look on his face. Yeah, there's something going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, their flame clock's different colour. Green. He was kind of strange. Not blue. Quiet, but I could feel something threatening in him. Yeah, are you sure about this? He didn't even question us. Perhaps he's already worked it out. Decided we're not hostile. Well, mm. no one's attacked us, which is more than we can say for pretty much every other time. Poison? Mimi, once we're rested up, how about we tour the colony? Poison what? The food, maybe. Good mm, idea. I doubt it. I want to see how, I and we can show the Kabesi folks around while we're at it. Much obliged. We are just visitors, after all. I want to have a chat with the soldiers too. There are a couple of things I'm curious to know. So this is your old colony, Mio. Let's see what kind of place it is. Looks calm. I like it. Going beyond power. New affinity with teach. There's actually quite a few missions to do yeah. here. So I think we should probably leave this one right now after I've got the meal that whatever it is. So then I can pull up here again. But I don't think we should do this right sure now. Why not? Because I think we should do Colony Nine stuff first. Why? I just do. So okay. this meats and veg laclati. Mm, what laclati? Laclati. Looks like um, uh, slime. It does. Stringy wingy veggie laclati. What is laclati? Can't wait to see how I'm not, no, I don't know that idea. one. Yeah, me neither. Right, I'm gonna quickly save, and then I'm gonna go to a itty bitty intermission. Is this the one? 
This one is nice. That's the most yeah. uh, uh, late to save. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to a quick intermission. All right, be right back. And we're back. Hello again. So do you so, think we should do this, or do you think we should go to the other bit? I mean, you're here now. Like, you can get the quests and then start them later. This is this one. Yeah. Like, if you walk over to the exclamation marks and then see what it says to do, then you can worry about doing them later. Okay. So the first you need to get the quest in the first place. Person here. It's Kyrie. You need something. Did anything strange happen? Not that I can think of, just training. Oh, something happened. A monster showed up! Yay! So they showed up at the right site where you vanished. Uh, we lost contact. Everyone assumed it got you. Oh. Even remember it freaks me out. You're back safe and sound. I guess there was no monster at all. Uh, not that we saw. I'm so glad. Surely it couldn't be. So, that's what it is. It's collecting info for the next part of the hero quest, wherever that is. So. so you need to talk to all these people. Anyway. Okay, hello, come on then. Come on. It's oh, hang on. A bit we weird. Can... The, the game sounds like a, a Geiger counter in terms of radiation or something similar. Hmm. Hello. Can I help you? There is a cat on the screen. Hello, cat. He's big and flumpy. Thank you. Ow, ow, ow. Can you get off? Oh, you're going to put a click in my skirt. Oh, oh you bastard. You oh, put a click in my skirt. Oh, I really like this skirt. Oh, you mm -hmm. little turd. Here You've discovered a landmark. Assembly yard. As soon as you get back, you want to see what's been going on. Cut to the chase. Has anyone else come back? Nope. Just you. The operation was riddled with weird stuff. Uh, the commander didn't say anything about particulars. Don't you suppose you know anything about it? Nope. So, they're all missing. Fates unknown. What if it's like hacked? So we oh, need to- we're again. obviously gonna need to talk about this at the, uh, the site. Is, is that oh, new? Yes, there are lots of green dots on the... Yeah, but they don't seem to be ones with little stars on them, so... Stuff, yeah, no. I don't think I can get Affinity, though, until... No? Interact! I don't think I can hey, get Affinity... On it. Until... Ah, I've read the there. flame core. Yes. That, that is a... A likely possibility. Make use of this. Ooh, this definitely feels like stealing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just some gemstones. Aw, uh, oh, mister, you're so cute. Uh, before I get that, I'm just going to quickly nip up here and get this crate, because okay. I don't know if it's going to trigger something. Completely well, no, different. you're collecting info and you need to discuss it at the rest spot. It won't, tri it won't force you into anything. Well, you don't know if it's going to force me to a rest spot. I'm just going to quickly... Uh, okay. So that opens up to the rest of the map. I'm, I'm pretty assuming. sure the game's not going to force you to go to a rest bar. I'd like to just quickly do this, like I said. Okay, well... Oh, I can't go up there anyway, look. Uh, so. That will most likely be a traversal skill later, I would assume. Yeah, I've already mentioned that, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So I can't do what I wanted to do, which was get the yeah. chest. Hello, foots. So we've got a foot and a teach. <laughs> well, if it isn't you guys... Watch your tone. Why am I the one you're rude to? Uh, face me in mock combat. All we're doing by is standing, so we're getting soft. Don't complain. Don't patronize me. I want to go to the front for once. He's got little horns. He does. Uh, he wants to become a commander one day. Why the snuff are they still treating us like reserves? As if this were the time for it. Now we've lost most of our personnel. There's only one thing left for us to what he's doing. And uh, you lost them? Vanished without a trace. Well, well, well. New topic available. Spa with me. Spa! Okay, right. We need to talk about all this stuff that's been going on. Because the rest. going on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goings on are not very good. Boing. Boing. Better make sure now we're what well the snuff has happened. Could you all come around for a second? Looks like our friends are doing just fine, Mimi. Seems so. Really? Who's gone missing? Still, 
There's a lot fewer soldiers here than I expected. A lot of the soldiers employed on that mission haven't come back yet. No one knows what became of them. The mission where we became Ouroboros. I dare say that's the one. Sorry. Should have kept my mouth shut. No, you didn't do anything wrong. All the soldiers left in the colony are newbies with no combat experience. Right now, they've been ordered to stand by as a reserve force, far from the front lines. A good thing, too. That's what saved Kari and others' lives. Plus, they didn't get to learn the truth about us and the world. But. Ugh. It doesn't sit well with me to pretend like everything's fine. Especially though. because their flame clock won't be getting filled. Mm hmm. Mia, Will it? would you mind talking to this commander of yours, Teach? About what? Everything. Tell him thanks for taking us in, no questions asked. He didn't take you in. Now look, I know I said he was trustworthy, but... No, no, was, I was planning on telling him everything anyway. And if we're gonna talk, we may as well lay it all out sooner than later. We can't just expect people to trust us while we hide the truth like this. Yeah, the truth. We makes more sense any. than staying and hiding. Right. Stop Nope. The commander will understand. I know it. He's crazy harsh, but crazy fair, too. Harsh? He didn't look it. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. <sighs> All right. Staring at me. Oh, the baby. Oh, the yeah, baby. You, get, you get a touch from your daddy. Oh, right. I was going to take the controller off you because you stopped playing. I'm playing. <gasps> I know you stopped. Mushy, mushy. Can they even see him? They cannot, no. He's currently going. Yes. And his chin squished. Ah, how is everything? If you still need to rest, then. Commander, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you. Of course. You don't look like you've come to just deliver a report. <laughs> Stop that, that tickle. Then, shall we relocate? That should be more convenient for you. Relocate? Yes, that would be helpful, thank you. Ah, yes. I know a good place nearby. Let's talk there. He doesn't what? want to kill us in front of everybody, that's no. the thing. C Commander, please. We don't need to go there. It has a beautiful view. And a particular peacefulness about it. How lovely! I'd love to see it. How does Senna not know this place? This is bad. This is all going south. It's just a change of place. I don't get what the problem is. Oh, we'll regret this. How oh. long? I'd is rather it? not delay, but unfortunately, I have some work left to do here. Wait for me next to the training ground. I'll meet you as soon as I can. <sighs> Okay. Very well. We'll see you there. Obviously, it's somewhere they don't want to go. Yeah, exactly. Is it a particularly smelly place, maybe? Well, I don't know, but Senna doesn't know about it, so... A bit odd. They were outstanding soldiers. I'd go so far as to say they were the pride of Agnes. Were. So, now they're Ah, oh, he does know. People are mysteries. You can never really understand them. Don't you agree? Ah, they were there the whole time. Behind the curtain. Mm. But I'm the commander. I can't let my personal feelings get in the way of my duty. I will deal with them. You can leave the matter with me. We can't afford to ignore anything that might do our very world harm. Uh, the question is, can the consoles just turn invisible? Oh, I think that... The console was behind one of these other curtains? No. Stop it! I can't! I think the console was there and they just couldn't see him. Maybe so, they can camouflage? Yeah, that seems like a, a, a reasonable ability for them to have is to like blend in with the environment. Oh, Mr. Mushy. Mr. Mushy. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So. Shall we head out? You didn't keep us waiting. We walked from there to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is this good place of yours far? Hmm. 
I'd say reasonably near. It's right next to a really big cliff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the road is poorly maintained and slopes a lot. It might not be an easy journey. This is where we're going to learn that. Oh, great. Now I'm totally sold. It all depends on how you walk it. Once you get the hang of it, it's just like strolling. We're going to learn this skill flowers. then. If you don't mind, I can explain on the way. Well, in that case, sounds great. This feels really like story, but it's not. Well, it's a hero quest. We have been told that things that look like side quests We've got can three have temporary what? people related What's things. Uh, Up here. Can hardly spoil the surprise now, can I? No. Trust it's, it's to go in the direction that you were going before. So come out of here. Yeah. But it's not walk, up the. It's walk. not up that. No, it's not it's, up that. Unless it is. No, like, it's not. No, but he said that we can do it. No, correct. it's not. Turn right. I just want to see if I can do you it. You can't. See? Turn right. Alright. That way. I know, but I just want to see because he said about the footing thing. Mustn't have learned it yet. Or no. Something. I don't know. I think traversal skills have to be a story related thing. Because otherwise, you could skip to other hero quest things earlier than you should be able to get to them. So to me, it makes more sense that traversal is a story related stuff. I'm just gonna go up there quick, up there quickly. Uh huh. And you're uh, gonna die. Maybe. Yes, you will. These aren't special monsters. No, they won't. They're not special, but. Considering that you were getting killed by one as you were walking around because you weren't fighting it. It was a special one. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a special one. Oh, there. look, there's a special one. Um, go on, run and get the thing. Here we go, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, just run and get the thing. You don't want to kill the, the blue monster because it'll kill you. No, no, no. I should be fine if I take it on. It's when, it, when I wasn't taken on and getting mm -hmm. healed. That was the problem before. <laughs> Skill master. I'm the girl with the gall. I don't think I have to kill it because it's gone away. Say, <laughs> isn't this vast? <laughs> Odd, feel like shard. Peter Griffin. There. <laughs> do you do Peter Griffin? No. Oh, it's funny when you do it though. Not I, I can't do it, so I don't know why you say it's funny when I do it. I like the I like the bit where he goes. Sorry, the kids I did scare the kid again. Because he thinks it's a snake. Yeah, does not like it. He does not. Does not like it, no. Oh, no, 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 no. there's a whistle point over there. I shall rescue you. you again, Rex. I might have to kill this nasty. Ah, there's a ruffle. Ruffle! More ruffles! Oh, lots of ruffles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Still got knocked off the cliff. Off the edge there, didn't it? I wonder, if you were to turn into instinct form, does that mean that Mio isn't going to die because your health is kind of combined? Yeah. Hmm. But her health returns to what it was when After you're the out instinct. of the instinct, yeah. I guess it's, it depends on if you used any arts or not. Uni, come on. Uni, I'm at Mio. <laughs> yeah, two separate people. <laughs> Whole different other no. thing. Uh, oh, that's sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. Whoa! I'm getting out of I know. Oh, it's that one. That one. Yeah. Well, no, you should be telling me to focus on the one that you're targeting. Yeah. 
So it was your fault that you weren't targeting that one. Yeah. I was targeting the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Oh, good health. Nice. Regenerate. Like. Oh. Ooh. Sorry, I'm on my desk. Yeah. Your wealth. Yeah, it does. This Ten one's got some nice home. stuff. Break! Double! Oops. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, you seem to get regenerative healing after every action that you do in the chain attack. Because I'm in a regenerative ring. I know, but I didn't think it would regenerate your health after every attack. Don't know. Uh, I need days. Okay. I don't have a day. Yes, you do? I do, but not with the person that I need. I need. I'll do it on the next one. Okay. So, do that one. And I think it's Mio. Days. And then I'll stick a defender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then reactivate. Also, I didn't realise it, but teachers are healing. Is he? Yes. Kind of makes sense. Oh. Uh, you got two attackers and two healers. Heroic chain! 10 CP to all active. Except okay. itself. But it's interesting because none of those are attacking ones. Mm -hmm. Buying, Area heal on here. I don't veil. need that, so I'm going to go for armor veil, I think. But that did no damage. Yeah! Dead. That should be it. Yeah. And then got some stuff, and then we'll get the uh, rescue. I will save you! The husk of a soldier. Such is the officer's duty. Time for a nice big breakfast. Hmm, that looks like a bit like um, the bit where Simba and Nala go. <laughs> the elephant skull or something. Elephant's graveyard. Yeah. Oh, it's a big hill. We got that. Step. You're gonna teach us now. Teach okay. us. Right. Does look like it this might be. This is it. where it gets real. First, imagine a stake. Mm, I'm picturing it mm. now. <laughs> a stake is hammered into the ground so deep that it becomes one with the earth. Now take that feeling, and that's how you're going to take each step. Your feet are the stakes in this case. Or heavy feet. Got you. Oh. Uh, Iron I boots. I guess I... No. I don't get it. That's all you need to know for now. You'll pick the rest up as you go. That's it. Just think yourself heavy. You inherited a traversal skill. Scree walking. You can now walk up certain slopes without sliding. So you can go up slopes. You all right? You got the traversal skill out of it. I thought I might. Anyway, charge! Here we go. Keep oh yeah, much easier. <laughs> no noticeable difference to your character's walking animation. <laughs> Just I can go up a slope now. Oh fuck! Who's nasty, sir? Evers blockers. Baruka skeeters. That's obviously where I need to go, but um, I kind of have go. no interest in. <laughs> no, I've got the skill. I kind of want to explore. Um, ah, fuck it, we'll do it right away. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're right there, so. Yeah. I kinda wanna go underneath. Mm -hmm. And there's black fog up ahead. Coolie pool! Wasn't there a coolie pool in a previous game? I don't remember. 
thought there was something like Cooley Lake or something. There might have been, but like I said, I don't remember. Oh. Oh. A can container! Actually, can actually get that before this, mm -hmm. so I will do that. Ah, uh, yes, you must be distracted by the shiny. Well, no, because I think that this isn't such a... Well, you can drop off. I know, I'm going to get it. Must have shiny. Ruffles! Ah, ruffles from the ground! Oh, big ruffle! That's a big one. That that's a big, a big one. one. That's a really big one. That's one that's going to kill you. Petrivor Judo Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Okay. So, uh, about that thing of going for the net, the, the shiny thing that you saw. Mm -hmm. Good idea? No, I mean, I can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I killed the little baby one too. No, you're not going to. You're dead. You're dead. Your party is dead. Your party is dead. Yeah, that, I didn't expect that to happen, alright? Oh yeah, just a, you know, a very tantalizing bit of treasure overlooking a cliff. It's, you know, fairly obvious that it's just going to be completely safe. You know? <laughs> he makes that point. Mm -hmm. And now you're even further away from the thing that you were close to. But I can do... You can now find any slopes in the game that you want and walk up them, but you can do that one? another time. Hmm? Is there one right here or my mission no. London? There is one near the, the colony, but that is not where you are. What's that? What's what? A divot. Do you know what? I haven't checked in a while. Mm hmm. Collectopedia stuff. No. Nope. But I have done something. Is it because I've got a new one? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do this one. It says level 25. You're level 25. I'm not that far away from where I was, Rob. You made it out like I was freaking miles away. You are away. 300 plus meters away. What was that? Did you see that? Nope. Up there. Did you not see that? Nope. Smart robo. Show you in a second if it's still there. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's a special one because go. it's raining, but something cool just came up. I'm sure I saw... The dragon at the top? Yeah. yeah. Seems like it's a roaming enemy. Yeah. I just gotta bear in mind that there is sometimes terrain monsters that don't appear unless it's a situations specific type like of this. day or weather condition. Yeah. Oh, there's a cave there. I'm gonna go in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a hill. There is another slope. Mmm. Oh, water. Red scene. You want us to go in the cave? Rest spot definitely for chatting. Are we? Are we there yet? <laughs> About halfway now. Not long to go. We have very different ideas of what not long means. Come on, people! This is why you need to lift more weights. Senna, you know you can't hone your endurance just by lifting weights. Oh, are you sure? The key to training is working the whole body rather than focusing too much on any one exercise. Yeah, don't forget like this. I'm sure it's not a problem now, but keep it up and you'll wear yourself out. Oh, wow. I see. Hmm. Not good, though. I believe I already taught you this in the past. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Press the button. Look at yes, you, I thought calm I had... and cool. No. Indeed, because I train properly. This is harder than I expected. I said we'd regret this. Oh, this is why we regret it, because it's far <laughs> away. <laughs> he seems mild mannered enough at first glance. But new recruits are terrified of him. They'd rather face a battle than his wrath. Huh. Tyon? 
You okay? You shouldn't slack off on your training. Just because you've seen real battle. Whether you live or die on the battlefield is determined by how you face it. That's where it ends. Excuse me. I didn't mean to lecture. You never change, Commander. Ah, uh, don't embarrass me. You really do come across as an instructor. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. It's pretty unusual for a commander to be an instructor as well, though. Probably. In my case, well, there's a lot going on. What do you mean by that? Just what I said. Anyway, break time's over. Let's crack on. So this is why Tyon and Mio didn't like the idea of going to a new place, but Senna was fine with it because Senna's Bit. fit and healthy. <laughs> so she's like, oh yeah, there's no problem. Just, you know, climb up the, climb up the wall. Lofos Mora Mora. They've been in previous game. Mora Mora. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're probably going to call it once we've checked out this rest. Let's make the most of our break, I am tired from today. Ooh. We've got some new recipes. So we've got... These are all the ones you found before, yes. Oh, I can only... Oh, right, no, it's... You need the yeah. ingredients. I was pressing left and right. No. Yeah. Yeah, so... So you don't um... need to do anything else because you still got the little classy. Yeah. But, um... This is cooking with ingredients, not with money as well. Yes. But the, I've got those four. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, let's level up and then we can chat. See if there's anything to discuss. Level twenty-seven. I definitely feel Thank stronger. Pow. Discuss. There is nothing to discuss. Yeah. So I guess that's that's us for today. Alrighty. Uh, as always, this will put, get put onto YouTube at some point. So youtube.com slash play. What's a thermaturge? Thal thal Sorry? Thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. Uh, usually it refers to people that experiment with metal. Um, right, okay. Thaumaturgeology. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure of the exact definition of that. It's interesting because I've not heard that before, that's why I was yeah. wondering. Uh, and as usual, we stream on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm UK Let's time. So yeah, next time we stream should be on Friday and we'll be doing more Zelda Blade. Yes. Uh, what we'll do, I don't know. It could be story, it could be hero quests, it could be all sorts of different things. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all next time. Bye!